You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Fast Lane pay-per-view. Yes. Yeah. Probably the least anticipated pay-per-view of the year. Um <clears throat> yeah. I don't mean it in in terms of ter- quality matches. I don't mean right now. I just mean in general, because Fastlane usually isn't oh, that great oh, oh. of a pay-per-view. It's always in a weird time between well, like, yeah. Rumble and Mania. Every, yeah. yeah. It's always between the two. But basically it's um all right we know what we want to do for mania or more or less right so obviously nothing's really going to change the same thing that we had with the elimination chamber we knew it was going to happen going yeah for the majority of it as of right now all the pieces are in place for what we know already so yeah because it's it's not like aj is going in as a challenger yeah you know what i mean if he was if he didn't have the title title, right now right it'd be a little different it's true um however yeah there's always so. that chance. Oh no, he it, it's possible. Uh, Cena could win. Mm-hmm. Uh, Owens could win, but I don't really right. see that. Happening. But before we get to the main event, let's talk about the the rest of it. Yeah, all right, the rest of it. So this is probably going to be on the pre-show, or if not, probably open the pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Uh, Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Carmella and Natalia. Yes, that was announced last week on SmackDown. It was. Um, I don't know. This is a tough one. Why is it a tough one? Why is it a tough one? Because I feel like Carmella and Natalia have done nothing, so they, I feel like they could give them a win. But at the same time, Naomi and Becky have been doing a lot of losing as of lately, considering they both lost to, what, Ruby Riot recently? Yeah, they both got pinned by her. Yeah. So what are you thinking, the faces? I'm thinking Becky and Naomi all the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'll, I'll take that. It as really well. doesn't make any sense for them to lose. No, it doesn't. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna put B and N. Sure, that works. Um, but like normally, you would kind of like think, okay, Charlotte, is she gonna retain, and then use that as your measuring stick? Right. I I don't think it really matters. Win or win or lose, I think Becky and Naomi are because it really just doesn't make any sense for Carmella and. It's true. Tally to beat him. It's true. So, uh, I guess we'll go with the United States Championship mm-hmm. with Bobby Roode defending against Randall Orton. Randall. Randall. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think? Um, I, I feel like Jinder is going to play a role in this. Mm. Either end up with a double DQ or some sort of nonsense, and we end up getting a triple threat at Mania. It's fair. So uh, I see Bobby Roode retaining for now, and then Orton probably winning it at Mania. Yeah, well, you know he's going to win it because of the fact that he said that... They made such a big deal about it being the only title that he hasn't gotten. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say, I guess technically... Because this one's rough, because technically if Jinder gets involved, he won't get involved by a specific person. Right. So it's basically whoever he attacks, the other person's going to win. Mm-hmm. So maybe... Maybe Randy wins. No, no. I think Rude will win. Rude will win, Because yeah. he'll attack Rude. Yeah. Orton will <clears throat> lose because of it. All right, so both saying Bob Rude. Yes, Bob Rude. And speaking of Bob Rude, up next, Shinsuke versus Rusev. This um, one's pretty cut and dry, unfortunately. Yeah, obviously, Shinsuke's going to win. Yeah, um, yeah. You can't have <clears throat> the uh, Royal Rumble winner lose. On the pay per view before WrestleMania, that I mean, you silly. could, but you know, it that, would be stupid. Especially considering they don't seem to care about Rusev, so or at least yeah. not yet. Hopefully, <clears throat> that it, it's unfortunate, but unless they do a big U.S. title match at Mania, wouldn't have Rusev in it. Yeah, they could do that because I mean that would be the only way that maybe Orton will win the title fast lane and then they do a multi-man match but i guess it really doesn't matter Which he could win that as well difference yeah yeah <clears throat> all right up okay. next tag team champions the usos defending against the new day mm-hmm. uh this one could go either way as well i think the usos are gonna retain yeah um so you had said something about thinking the bludger brothers might get involved you mean like with the match or with the feud later on? No, I think with the feud like okay. leading up to Mania. No, I don't think. Right. 
I mean, there's always that possibility because I mean, they the last time they were promoting their match, the Usos and New Day, the Legend Brothers did come out. That it's so. true, but I don't. I think that if um, well, either way, I think the Usos are going to retain. Mm-hmm. But if if the Bludgeon Brothers get involved, that kind of takes away the New Day's claim. Well, right. And maybe mm. they'll say that they didn't lose fairly. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way. <laughs> um, or with the whole Cena, Styles, Nakamura thing, like they said, the triple threat, mm-hmm. we could get the New Day winning the titles and going on to face the Bludgeon Brother or whoever, and then the Usos say, you know, we're going to invoke our rematch clause at Mania or I, something like that. I was going to say, I find it very hard to believe that the Bludgeon Brothers will be in a well, WrestleMania I'm, match I'm, to begin with. I'm just saying it could be anybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying yeah. it's kind of hard to... It's true. Hard to imagine at this it's point. It's true. Um, but yeah, I'm going with the Usos. All right. Well, since I think... the. The other matches were probably going to be the same on. I'll just pick the New Day. Just sure. to be different. Yay. Because I feel like this match could go either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I realized what I did. I didn't, actually. Ah. I missed it. All right. Women's oh. Championship <laughs> match. Charlotte defending against Ruby Riot. Charlotte's going to win. Duh. Yeah. yeah Charlotte it's... wins, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, there's there's really no way that it's not going to either. I mean, even if there was a cash-in. Ruby um, won't win. Yeah, that's, that Ruby that's, won't win. Yeah. Yes, that, there's, that'll, there's absolutely no way no, she'll leave with that title. No reason why either. Yeah. I, I mean, well, because you're not building to anything by no, doing that. I mean, their whole story. I mean, the fact that they put that all out on the table, and if she's not well, successful. Her, her then... <laughs> motivation is poor, and her... Right, it's, it's just, just not gonna. It just seemed like it was motivation just for this match, yeah. and then mm-hmm. so it's but, all gonna go down. But the then drain. you made it to be like that was the whole reason you put this group together. Yeah, so it's all gonna go down the drain very quickly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and then we have the WWE Championship match with AJ Styles defending against. Let's see, Baron Corbin, mm-hmm. John Cena, yep. Dolph Ziggler, mm-hmm. Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. Yes. Um. <clears throat> While I would say AJ is probably the clear favorite to win, mm-hmm. there's always that possibility that somebody picks up the title and drops it. Maybe, you know, the SmackDown after or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I think... Know. I think... Well, I guess technically what you're suggesting that Owens wins it or Sammy wins it and then they drop it to AJ. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Is that what you're suggesting? I was thinking or? maybe Ziggler, honestly. Yep. Or Cena. But I feel like they would make a big deal about no, the if, 17th. If, if Cena wins, that triple threat's happening. Yeah. Um, Ziggler's not going to win. Neither is Corbin. Oh. There's a very good chance, or there's a chance that Sami Zayn goes to lie down for Owens, and rolls, rolls him up, him and up. pins him. That can happen. That could happen, but I feel like them, him winning the match on SmackDown, I don't know. I don't see him winning too well, no, because like they'll that. probably have like a backstage segment mm-hmm. saying that I just wanted to get that out of my system, and right, right? Blah blah blah, um, and then he ends up turning on him for good. Mm-hmm. So, well, the only reason I, I mean, you don't really need to build a feud if if it's still planned between AJ and Nakamura, you know? Oh yeah, I mean, you, you can still have AJ win. Right? No, no, I know, but no, I mean, I mean even, like win the title back. Yeah, you're right, yeah. right, because there's no necessary reason for them to have to build to this match because it's it's just dream match it's just nakamura saying i'm gonna beat you yeah exactly which is all the build they need surprisingly yeah um so so what are you thinking just aj is gonna win or um yeah i guess so yeah i I, I I was thinking about saying maybe since we both think that aj is definitely gonna win or more than likely going to win that mm. see who the next best person is. No. I think that Cena has the highest odds after AJ. Right. Yeah, because then I see that triple threat happening like you had mentioned. Yeah. Because I don't see him just dropping it on a random oh, SmackDown. Oh, there's, there's no way he won't be involved in that. I know. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Going with AJ. Yeah, it's probably a smart choice. I'm going to have to agree with you on that. Mm-hmm. Um. 
I mean, overall, it, it should be a decent pay-per-view. Um, SmackDown's done a very <clears throat> good job with their pay-per-view qualities. Yeah, as opposed to their <laughs> weekly television show. Yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to get a good match of the Usos in the New Day. Absolutely. That six-pack challenge will be very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, the Fatal Five way was good for being a SmackDown match, mm-hmm. yeah. Except um, there'll actually be stakes this time. It's true. Because... I don't know. Well, it's like that gauntlet match on Raw, right? With before the no stakes, yeah. yeah. That's how they should have done the last person entering the chamber. Yeah. Um, Charlotte versus Ruby will be eh. Maybe okay. Becky Lynch I mean, and Naomi will be a borderline <clears throat> squash match, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that, that, it's just a weird match to happen. That was, oh, crap, we need somebody to put on. And they're probably going to still throw another match on for the pre-show if yeah, that one's not that, on it. That would probably be Ty Dillinger against Mojo. Yeah, or something to that. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, but, I mean, that that's really it. There's, I mean... Shinsuke so- and Rusev will be good. <clears throat> yeah. No, that should be good. Yeah. Um, Like I said, the only thing is the whole... Kind of squashing the whole Rusev day thing. Uh, it'll be competitive. Oh, yeah. There's I don't no see it being it a be. squash match yeah. now. So, but like you said, you can't have Shinsuke lose mm-hmm. that. Nope. Unfortunately, not a chance. Well, not unfortunately, but it's it does suck for Rusev that he's the one who has to take the the beating. Yeah. So I mean, there's <clears throat> no one else you could really take out of the six pack challenge that hasn't already had something with Shinsuke. I mean, unless you did like Sami Zayn or something like that. They they've wrestled. Yeah. Well, I'm, honestly, I'd be okay with them wrestling wrestling at WrestleMania. Shinsuke and Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, they put a hell of an NXT match on. Yeah, so that wouldn't wouldn't be that bad of a, <clears throat> a thing either. Yeah, I mean Rude and Orton, that's gonna be okay. It could be better than we expect. Could yeah, be. Yeah, I mean Not guaranteed. neither of them wrestle very entertaining styles, so and it's you true. throw Jinder Mahal in the mix and doesn't scream. Yeah. Anything yeah. great. Oh well. But like you said, SmackDown always seems to put on decent pay-per-views compared to their weekly shows. Which is usually pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much all we got. So, mm-hmm. after this, it's on to WrestleMania. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's the last stop on the road to WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yep. So, anyway, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.